That's Jonathan Creek reporting. Now to the woman who hit the child support jackpot, becoming an instant millionaire with a $2 million payment. She claims she thought it was legitimate back payment from her ex-husband. But it was a massive mistake by the child support agency. And now the single mother has to pay back what she's already spent and is facing jail. Neil Dawley has this exclusive report. It was just like, wow, you know, this is fantastic for my children. Took the kids out for dinners and uh, bought some clothes, but, you know, we were having a good time, I suppose you could say, yeah. The money's dropped into her account. She felt tempted. I felt like, like a bit of a criminal, but I didn't know why. On February 6, single mother of three, Judy Lawbeck, hit the child support jackpot and became an instant millionaire. On that day, monies were deposited from the child support agency of the sum of $2 million. And what is really astounding here is that uh, it's almost uh, impossible to accept that the department wouldn't, wouldn't have known about the, uh, the overpayment very, very quickly after it was made. The first thing first was to take care of my children. Five weeks and hundreds of thousands of dollars later, she'd gone from the penthouse to the jailhouse. They just said, Judy Lorbeck, you're under arrest. Um, and he said, you know why? So it, um, and I'm thinking, OK, I need to speak to my lawyer. There's no, no premeditation. There's no attempt by her to secure the money before it was given to her. Nothing like that at all. It's very different to a lot of other frauds you might see. Michael McMillan is Judy Lorbeck's lawyer. This is a woman who didn't ask for this problem to occur. It happened and she took advantage of it when she shouldn't have. Well, most of us would question the circumstances surrounding $2 million being deposited into our bank accounts. Judy Lorbeck assumed she was given the money following an investigation into the finances of her former husband, a well-known Melbourne businessman. I felt that my ex-husband could pay those monies and um, so I sort of didn't think twice. Judy's spending spree ended abruptly when federal police arrested her outside this Sydney RSL. It was just a very surreal, a shock just out of the blue. All these men just come out of the woodwork. The 46-year-old was taken into custody and transferred to Brisbane's women's prison. I cried. I cried for days. The only thing I requested was a Bible. I'm a Christian, so that was my source of peace and in that place. She spent six weeks behind bars. I've never been cut off my children for, for such a long period of time and concerned more for them than myself, really. While the amount overpaid to Judy Lawbeck is rare, it's not the only mistake made by the child support agency, which handles more than $3 billion in payments. Last year, the agency received nearly 7,500 complaints, but Judy admits she never contacted them about her payout. I didn't know who to contact. I wouldn't know what to do, but I felt sort of just or justified that this is child support, they know what they're doing. Judy Lorbeck's cash splash might have ended nearly three months ago, but during a recent bail application, a court heard investigators are still trying to recover about $150,000. Judy's assets have been frozen, and it's possible her Sunshine Coast house could be sold off to pay back the child support agency. To lose your home, yeah. that would obviously come as a massive blow. Well, we'd be devastated, yeah, absolutely devastated. As she awaits her next court appearance, Judy is genuinely apologetic. If that money was deposited wrongfully by their department um, and I've spent it, yes, of course I'd like to apologise for my own Christian you know, uh, morals and the way I believe. She has been charged with dishonesty offences, they're Commonwealth dishonesty offences, and uh, she's intending to plead guilty to the charges as we know them. But I take one day at a time. A simple telephone call to her um, we've overpaid you, don't spend the money, you could be committing a criminal offence if you do so, might have prevented all of this. Still today, they haven't called her. I don't understand why I went through it, but all I can do is pray. Yeah, and Judy Lawbeck faces the Commonwealth Court in Brisbane on June 15 on that stealing charge. She could be facing even more jail time. That was Neil Dawley reporting.